Hi, thanks for joining us today. I'm Gary Cox, and I'm a senior technical consultant with Bluefish Development Group. Today, we're going to talk about uh, share customization in Alfresco. Um, if you want to not display the dynamic welcome banner for the user dashboard or sites dashboard, um, by default, that appears um, can be removed, but it appears for every new site membership and, and for the user the first time they log in. And we'll show you um, just a quick demo on how you can hide it for new users that are created and also a way to hide it for existing users that have already been created in the system. So we're going to do a short demonstration on the computer, just do a screencast, um, and just uh, should be pretty easy to do. It's not a very difficult customization, but it can be really useful if you want to, to get rid of this banner and never have it display. Thanks. Okay, uh, we're at my desktop now, and just a couple um, quick files to change to uh, sort of permanently hide the uh, dynamic welcome banner. Um, this is the full width banner with a, sort of the yellow banner that appears on new user, um, the user dashboard for new users and also um, when you join a site initially you see this uh, dynamic welcome banner as well. And you can actually clo uh, remove it permanently but um, we've had some clients that wanted to just not ever show it. And there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, it's basically two files you can touch. One is uh, presets.xml and one is um, basically the FTL file that, that decides whether to show this uh, this sort of the div that controls this and it's uh, dynamic welcome.get.html.ftl um, so right now we are uh, in the share uh, installation path here for 413 I'm in the Alfresco directory and then the first um, file we're going to look at is in uh, site web scripts or Alfresco components dash let's dynamic welcome dot get dot html dot ftl and then if you want to override this file rather than overriding overwriting it which you don't want to do you would uh, sort of make a copy of this path underneath um, classes um, slash Alfresco slash web extension and then create a site web scripts or Alfresco components dash let direct directory and then put your file in there so let's open this guy up and at the top here you can see there's uh, some logic if, if show dashlet then run all this logic to show the dashlet um, there's a couple things you can do you can basically make this empty if you want um, and then it, obviously there won't be any logic to display and it doesn't matter if show dashlet is true or false um, sort of a quick and easy way to, to sort of deal with this is to just permanently set it to be false locally uh, through an assignment and something like um, just like doing this basically so no matter what happens it's going to evaluate to be false and it's never going to show the dashlet and this should take care of this for new users or existing users or anybody for the sites or for um, the user dashboard um, so I'm gonna just jump out of here real quick and the other place if you're kind of in a greenfield installation and you haven't actually um, added any users or anything you can you can actually get rid of or sites for that matter you can actually get rid of it from the presets and that lives in uh, um, site data presets and the files presets.xml so I have the path up here and again you can override this by putting this in um, basically the the web, web extension directory um, web dash extension under classes alfresco and then make the path site da site data slash presets and put the preset presets xml file and that's usually a better design pattern because you're not o you're overriding not overwriting um, so let's open this one up real quick presets.xml and see there's a couple places where it's defined so this is the full width dashlet right here um, so if you basically remove this component it should get rid of the dynamic welcome this top part is for site dashboard and then there actually is a um, another definition down below down this is on line 80 now we've dropped down uh, this is the user dashboard and you can remove it from here as well and then it shouldn't show up um, at all for new users um, now if you change this file um, then it shouldn't shouldn't it shouldn't show the dynamic uh, banner for new sites or new users, but it would still show for existing sites and existing users. So 
Um, this, with a combination of the FTL file change, will take care of that if you're in an existing installation and want to get rid of those. Um, so that's basically it. You can just override those two files, and you should be able to hide the dynamic banner, um, the welcome banner, if you don't want it to show for any of your users. And then before we go, I, I do want to show just this is the example of the welcome, the welcome dynamic uh, banner. Um, this is what appears f by default for all new users when they first log into their dashboard. And the first time you join a site, um, you get this banner. And um, you can actually manually remove it, um, and it should go away forever. But if you don't want it to ever show in the first place, um, then you know the steps that we showed will basically hide it. And um, you shouldn't see it at all, whether you're a new user or an existing user. So I just wanted to show that real quick. Um, and thanks for joining the video. All right, thanks for joining us today. I uh, hope this was useful to you. Please check out our other videos. Um, we've just started putting up some FSOFT videos, and of course, we'll continue to put up Alfresco videos as well. And um, continue to check our site out. We put up three or four videos every quarter and a variety of topics. Thanks.